as you can see, the language movement is something that is very important to our history and something that clearly means a lot to us and for a good reason. Now we will start up the international portion of this event. This portion of the event is a showcase of various performances from different countries all over the world. Our first performance will be representing the USA. Matt Thurkelson and Jake Wirth will be performing Stand By Me by Ben E. King. This song is written in 1960 and is a classic American R&B song with gospel roots. Hi, everyone. Uh, we will be representing America, also known as the USA. And uh, America has a, some great symbols. Right here is the, thank you, Jake. Yeah, no, keep the blues coming. All right, so here's the great seal of the US. It's found on uh, American passports and the back of a $1 bill. It's got the bald eagle on it. We love bald eagles in America. Uh, thank you. I'll say next slide when I'm ready, but thanks. Hopefully you guys all know where the US is because we're living in it right now. There's a nice little P for Purdue. Uh, that's where Indiana is. All right, next slide. So America is really like a melting pot of culture, right? So baseball, starting on the left-hand side there. Uh, baseball is America's pastime. And Babe Ruth, you know, Babe Ruth is more than just a candy bar. He was a famous baseball player. Miles Davis, a famous jazz trumpeter, and jazz is really like a great example of uh, American culture. It's a mixing of music. Uh, Americans love to travel, and probably the most famous travelers were Lewis and Clark in Sacagawea when they went to the Pacific Coast. Abraham Lincoln, uh, our most famous president, without a doubt. 16th president of the US, led the US through the Civil War and abolished slavery. Okay, and now Neil Armstrong, he's, he should be pretty familiar to us, right? Uh, he went to Purdue, he was the first man on the moon um, in 1969, and there's a building named after him on campus. Amelia Earhart, uh, she was the first female to fly solo over the Atlantic, and she was a visiting faculty member at Purdue. She also got a building named after her, but it's a dining court, so I'm not sure where the, what's up with that. Benny King, uh, he wrote the song, he recorded the song that we'll be performing for you today, as well as Mike Stoller and Jerry Lieber. Uh, they wrote a lot of Elvis's hits, like You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog and all those other great classics. Okay, next slide. So for some national landmarks, um, this is the Statue of Liberty, and you know this is really speaks to that whole American uh, melting pot. We're all immigrants here, and this is the first thing that a lot of us saw when we were coming by boat to Ellis Island. All right, next slide. Uh, America has some great monuments and national parks. Here's a picture of the Grand Canyon. Uh, really beautiful. All right, next slide. So this is the backdrop for our song. Um, this is uh, Yosemite National Park. And it's a really uplifting place. And I hope this song, which is a combination of rock and R&B, will uplift you as well. All right. Thank you.
the sky that we look upon should tumble and fall or the mountains should crumble to the sea